We're too late. What have we here? It used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't arrived. I do. You would have perished. You still may. If you wish to flee the Darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait! You can't just leave us here! Can I not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated, and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? We won't be able to get through the Darkspawn on our own. They are everywhere, or soon will be. Where is it you plan to run to, hmm? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? That is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? King Kalen was betrayed. There's nothing for me here. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fair? It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? We don't have much choice. We never do. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. 
Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. There must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar? Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. I'm sorry, Aveline. This has to be done. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. Hello fellow gamers, here is Brigand70. I would like to give you my review on the first chapter in Dragon Age 2. First, the good stuff. The voiceover again was really exceptionally good. 
Kate Mulgrew as Flemeth is again godly. What a beast! Also, the character design for her is really a big improvement from Dragon Age Origins. She was a ragged old wrench then, but her new design makes her terrifying, which I like and fits her very well. We've seen the introduction for some of the main characters. The voice for Hawkey is quite good. The presentation was really gripping. Combat is very much tuned down from the intro, feels more struggling now and not so over the top, which I like. Still, it plays fast paced. Although I had to use the pause now and then when things were grown over my head. This is especially true for placing area of effect skills or spells. Now for the bad stuff. I already said it in the intro, I don't find the environment very appealing. Character design is stunning, the world design is a letdown. The writing of Bioware has always touched me. For this episode I'm a bit underwhelmed. Relationship between the Hawk siblings has not yet kicked in and thus the death of my brother leaves me rather unaffected, which I find kind of sad. I would have loved to be grieved. The human noble origin in Dragon Age Origins worked much better for me in building up some emotional family bonds for the player. Here my brother dies and I am more of, oh, well, okay. Mother and sister do seem to take it rather cool too. Let's keep going. I think a more slow build up for the flight would have benefited identification with the family members. We get also introduced to Evelyn and I already like her, but also the death of her poor husband comes a bit rushed. It did feel somewhat more tragic than my own brother's death, but then again the whole kill me scene borderlined on cheesy soap opera. The conclusion. We had some character introductions, some deaths, Flemeth shines. Overall, I am not yet very much impressed. <laughs>